got. I got the 25A and 25B palette, the, the Copper Spice and the Bronze Mocha palette, as well as their new setting spray. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and swatch those palettes out for you and stay tuned till the end of the video and you'll see this look that I created right here. It's a very simple look, but I thought I would share it with you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram if you're not already following me. I post tons of news about makeup and what's coming up and you'll also know when new videos are coming up. All right, so this is the new Morphe Prep and Set Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. It's a makeup setting spray. This is a 2.8 fluid ounces, and it says Prep and Set goes the distance without retouching this lightweight and breathe. Sorry, this lightweight and breathable mist locks in liquid and powder makeup. So go ahead and set it. Directions: whole body. Directions: whole body. Directions, hold bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face, close eyes, and mist over makeup. Warning, side effects of this product will cause you to really feel yourself. Tag us on social media to be featured. Alright, and in here the ingredients are water, glycerin, and a couple other things. But basically glycerin helps your uh, makeup stay on, so it's the same thing that's in Fix Plus. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to tuck my hair back here. And one, two, three. It's a super, super fine mist. And actually, I, you, I was like tempted to go, because this is what you do with like most setting sprays, but it's really nice. I, I kind of got it all over the place a little bit. Um, and well, I normally don't touch my makeup after I do it, but I have heard that it's kind of sticky feeling on my chest here. I can kind of feel that, but that just makes me think that it's gonna stay in place. Two things that I got when I went over to the Morphe store yesterday were the Copper Spice palette and the Bronze Mocha palette. I actually used the uh, I actually used the Copper Spice palette today to get this look on my eyes. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Did a little tutorial, nothing too complicated, just about three shadows, just blending them in really nicely and added some false lashes on here so yeah I already really like these palettes um, they're really nice the pigmentation on the shadows is nice and buttery and smooth I cannot wait to continue to play with these but what I wanted to do in this video today is swatch them out for you so that you guys can see and see if you guys want to get these I got these in a bundle it was uh, 33 bucks for both palettes um, now I did as like I mentioned before I did go to the store to buy them you do have to let them know in the store that you're gonna bundle these two or else you'll get charged regular price for each, which I believe this one is $17.99 and this one is $17.99. So in the bundle, you save about $2.50, which may not seem like a lot, but if you buy a lot of makeup, I mean, something is something. And if you use a 10% discount code, I do not have one, but there are plenty of codes out there, affiliate codes and non-affiliate codes that you can use if you would like to save some money. All right, I'm gonna start with the Copper Spice Palette, which is 25A. That's the reason I'm gonna start with it is because it is a 25A. A. All right, so in the 25A palette, we're going to start with the very top row, and we're just going to, I'm just going to basically do this just with my finger, and then go here. This is the first shade in the 25A, and this is actually the shade that I used to set my eye primer, which I use a MAC Paint Pot and a Laying Down since Soft Ochre is just too light for me. I really like this shade. The texture on the shades, I'll be honest with you, is really soft. It's nice because they feel like the way they apply, which is very creamy and with lots of pigmentation and not a whole lot of kick up. That is the second shade right there. Third shade in. We're gonna do that one right here. So I hope these are coming up as they are on my arm. They're really, really nice. Like I said, really pigmented. And then there is the fourth shade right there and then this is the shade that I used in my crease it's gonna be this one right here and this shade is beautiful I blend it out so nicely it reminds me a lot of rubbish from my melt stack I absolutely love this shade so I'm so glad to have something like it it's these are like the perfect you know the perfect crease colors 
And now um, we're gonna go on to the second row. Right. Do that right there. Look at how pretty that shade is. It's really, really nicely pigmented. This would totally be something that I would put in, you know, the center of my eye for a nice finished look. And then this is another really nice crease shade. It's really matte and it's really nice and a light brown with just a little bit of like red undertones, which is nice. Brown, a very taupey kind of brown right there. That's that third shade right there. It's so pretty. This palette, I feel like I'm already so excited to use it and, you know, the pigmentation on these are so nice. This is the shade that I used in the outer corner and the outer V to deepen up the eye look that I was trying to create. That's just a darker shade of, like I said, that color rubbish, which is really nice. And then there is the last shade in the second row. So I feel like I'm gonna live in the second row because it's so pretty. And on to the third little row, or the third row here. This I used the first this first color I used all over my lid and I absolutely loved it. I love this nice like it's like a red brown but with a little bit of pink in it and it's just so so pretty it's like it's like the perfect lipstick color that i love it's very similar you know what i would say this is like their peanut um their liquid lipstick in peanut it's like the eyeshadow color of that of that liquid lipstick and then next up we have this brown which is just so pretty it's a great brown with very pink undertones or very kind of mauvey undertones which is very pretty this would be one of those shades that you might be able to get away with using in the crease next shade is a matte very brown shade very cool tone shade I really really like this shade for deepening up those like nice soft brown colors or those nice soft brown looks that you go for and then this is another brown but with way more red undertones in it way more warm tones in it another brown and then this tone as you can see it's very different than that one it's a little bit cooler than the middle one here but it's very pretty and another one of those a great transition now these next two rows are so pretty they're really good lid shades so we shall see how the pigmentation is on these uh shinier shades here all right this is the first shade and ooh, that's a very true true rose goldy copper and it's beautiful it's so pretty and then next up we have this like really pretty frosty almost purple pinky color which is very pretty as well these shadows with the shimmer are swatching beautifully this next one is one that i've been looking forward to i've seen swatches of this and i cannot oh look at that now i would say this would be a more rose gold and this is definitely a very very true copper but look at those shades. They are just gorgeous and iridescent and just beautiful. I honestly have been using Morphe for a while and I have not seen shadows like this from them. And then this is a very kind of warm gold right there. These are absolutely beautiful. I am so impressed with these shades, honestly. I mean, I'm impressed with the matte shades as well. And then this is a very rust color, which is very pretty. And those are the shades in the second to last row. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. They're so iridescent, like I said. And Marshby shadows have always been great quality, but this is just, this is stepping it up. This is definitely stepping it up. And then the bottom row right here this is the row we're doing this one is very similar to the second sh shade that I swatched from the other one but it is a lot more pink than that other shade a very a silver dark silver kind of granite color which is also very gorgeous and then we seem to have like a deep deep gray or brown I would say it looked gray in the pan but it's, it is very brown 
with a lot of shimmer, which is nice. And then we have a very dark matte brown, which is beautiful as well. And then the last shade in this here set is the black, which just looking at that on my finger, that is dark. That is like Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills. That is my favorite black eyeshadow, by the way. That is the only black shadow that I've ever used when doing a smoky eye because it's just so pigmented. But look at that. Like, you can't even see my finger. And there is that black shade. So that looks so beautiful. And there is the bottom row. So that's the Copper Spice palette. I absolutely love these. Some of my favorite shades I would have to say are this one, this one, this one. And I really, really do like these transitional shades. This is definitely a palette that I'm gonna be reaching for a lot. I can already see it. I'm already like imagining so many looks I can do with it. On to the next. The 25B, this is the bronze mocha palette. Now this palette is a little bit more like warm toned shadows but darker warms so compared to this which is like you've got all those nice pretty gold shadows and a lot of transition shades these are much darker these are for like a smokier eye effects so um definitely giving me lots of like autumn vibe top row the shades are just as creamy as they are in the other palette this is a very light shade, which would be great for a brow bone highlight. It's very pretty. Peach shade right here. It's like a peach yellow almost. More yellow than peach. Troll pinky shade. It's, and it's a matte shade as well, so that's nice. So there's that shade right there. True, true, true peach shade. Way more so than the last one. There it is right there. That's got a lot more pigmentation than it looks like it would have in the pan, to be honest. That fourth shade. And then for the very last shade, it's like a dusty brown rose color. And that's that one right there. And these shades are so pretty. They're very pinky. Next up, we have the second row of shadow. First with what looks like a very warm tone brown a very pretty brown that would be great for the transition and that's that brown right there it's so pretty and then we have a very very neutral taupe color that's this one right here and I it's I can already tell just from doing the swatches look at how easily they just blend into the perfect shades and then a darker taupe color, almost gray-like, right there. And then we have a very, very cool tone brown, the shade right here. And then last but not least, we have a slightly shimmery um, mauve color, I would say. That's that one right there at the bottom. I swatch the a third row which is this one right here and we're going to start with this shade which is very very pretty and very just very shiny which I like I like that for the inner color and then we have this nice pinky shade right here it looks a lot more icy in the pan but it's swatching as a very very true pink and then we have a very familiar shade of that which is really really nice it's not as dark as that other copper that's in that pat in the other palette and it's very very pretty a lot more peach in that one than pink and then we have this nice pretty like topaz color which this is gorgeous it's almost duochrome which is beautiful I mean it's so so it looks so duochrome honestly and then the last shade is this brown gold shade which I am loving this shade these two shades right here would be my favorite so far in this palette uh, fourth row of this palette and the third row of this palette are just killing it like just every we've got a, a warm tone it's like warm and kind of 
cool tone, if that makes sense. A lot more warm tone once it's swatched. It's a very pretty brown. Great neutrals in both of these palettes. Next up, we have another shimmer. And this is a very true... Um, it's a little bit darker than a copper shade. It's like a... It's a very true to like a penny shade. With a penny... With a pe the shade of a penny, that's what I would say. I would compare it to. And then we have a full tone brown right here, which is beautiful. And like, look at that. Like, you can create a look just out of these three shadows alone. Like, you wouldn't even need the rest of the palette. That's why I'm saying, like, these are the kind of palettes you want to pick up. Then a very cranberry shade, which is very, very pretty. I love these shades too. I love those on brown eyes. And I mean, obviously, any color eye, but brown eyes, those really help bring out pigmentation in brown eyes which is beautiful and then we've got a nice purple and this purple is very pretty it's very very pretty and that is that row the very last shade of this palette here this is a very very deep purple color and there it is right there And I mean, as you can see, like I've swatched a ton of browns in both of these palettes, but all these browns are so completely different from each other. And even when they're in the pan, which is nice, and in the pan, which is nice, you can see the differences of the browns. Purple color. This purple is very, very pretty. It's like a very, it's just the prettiest purple I've ever seen, quite frankly. It's so gorgeous. It's I don't know how to describe it, like a royal purple. And then we have this very, very cool tone brown to finish up the palette. And right there, in that, right there, you've got a look. So final thoughts on these palettes. These rock, you have to get them. I really, I mean that in every sense. You need this one and you need this one. I really thought that I could just do with getting this one. And I only got this one because, like I said, it's such a great deal for the bundle. But you need both of these palettes. They're absolutely beautiful. Whether you're a beginner or whether you are professional, you do other people's makeup, this is just, it's going to have tons of looks for you to create. They're inspiring to look at. And this formula from Morphe, I've never seen anything like this before. This blows the 350 out of the water, and that's really saying something because I'm ride or die for the 350. This blows that out of the water, and it makes me so excited to see the Jacqueline Hill palette. If this is anything close to the formula that we're getting in that, that palette's going to be amazing, like phenomenal, phenomenal, and I'm so excited for it to come out. so fine in this May weather <laughs> knee slapper okay anyways guys thank you guys so much for joining me on this video I hope that you guys like this I am in love with these palettes I can't wait to show you guys all the looks that you can create with them and this setting spray so far so good be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything thank you guys so much I love you los quiero mucho as it says in my description box, if you've never read it, I always say that. Los quiero muchísimo. And I appreciate all the support from you guys for these videos. I am so just energized to see, you know, people kind of 
interacting and commenting and it makes me feel so good. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye!